Hey everybody, welcome back this week as we continue our journey through the Westminster Shorter Catechism. This week we're on question 16, which says, Did all mankind fall in Adam's first transgression? And the answer to that is, The covenant being made with Adam, not only for himself, but for his posterity, all mankind descending from him by ordinary generation, sinned in him and fell with him in his first transgression. There's a lot there. Um, so we'll kind of, we'll go through and kind of break this down a little bit. So let's start off with the covenant being made with Adam. Well, it was a covenant. We talked about that a few weeks ago in question 12. This was this covenant of life. This was God's covenant, which he expressed through his absolute sovereignty. Um, he's the one that alone, he alone determined the terms and imposed them on us and on man. Um, this same uh, covenant that our first parents were to keep upon the condition of perfect obedience to it. Uh, in Genesis 2, we read, uh, starting in verse 16, it says, And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, You may surely eat of every tree of the garden, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. The next part of the answer says, not only for himself, but for his posterity. Posterity is uh, all future generations of people. Uh, we read in, the, in chapter 1 of Genesis, verse 27 starting, it says, So God created man in his own image. In the image of God he created him. Male and female he created them. And God blessed them. And God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. For the and fill the earth and subdue it. So all generations, be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. All mankind descending from him by ordinary generation. Ordinary generation being meaning being born from Adam uh, as a natural offspring. Uh, we're all born through him as descendants of Adam. The only exception to that is Jesus, who was not born of a natural offspring or, or through descendant. Uh, it was through the Holy Spirit uh, going to Mary. It wasn't through Mary and Joseph conceiving this child. So Jesus was the only exception. So what does that really mean to us? Well, that means that he didn't sin in Adam because he's not a descendant. And he didn't fall with Adam, which means he was not born guilty like the rest of us. Now we move on to the next section here. It says, it, he sinned in him and fell with him. Uh, Matthew 7, uh, Jesus is speaking here, says, A healthy tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a diseased tree bear good fruit. Well, Adam is our part of our family tree. We're all part of this family tree together. Adam was the foundation of this tree. So anything that sprouts out, any leaves, any fruit, anything that sprouts out from him is rooted in him. So the sin that's rooted in Adam is rooted in us. We see in Romans 5 verse 12, it says, Therefore, just as sin came into the world through one man and death through sin, and so death spread to all men because all sinned. Uh, the answer this week finishes out with his first transgression. His first transgression. So Adam's first transgression. Uh, this was the act that went against God's covenant with man. This eating of the fruit. We see in Genesis three it says, "When the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was a delight to the eyes, and that the tree was to be desired to make one wise, she took of its fruit and ate." And she also gave some to her husband who was with her, and he ate. So all mankind fell in Adam's first transgression. This covenant being made with Adam, not only for himself, but for his posterity, all mankind descending from him by ordinary generation, sinned in him and fell with him in his first transgression. Now, thankfully, it doesn't end there. God's perfect plan 
um, provides a gift. It provides a savior for his people. Uh, now, the last couple of weeks, uh, we've been talking about sin. Uh, last week, we talked about how uh, a sin, or we'll say a physical or, or visual sin, is a lot of times a lot deeper. It, it's multiple sins within itself that we may not see or may not realize. This week, we kind of get to take a look at why do we have this sin in us? How did it come about? How is it rooted in our body and soul? Um, and then it helps to show us that the only way out is through Christ who saves us by faith. So this week, I'd like to encourage you. I read Romans five twelve a minute ago, but I'd encourage you to read Romans 5, verses 12 through the end of the chapter. So 12 through 21. It's only nine verses. Um Pray to God. Praise praise Him for both this death in Adam and then the greater reward of a life in Christ uh, through the reading of, of God's Word here in, in Romans.